All right, we're back on the 6.5 diesel today. Uh, this truck, well, any of these trucks, it has what they call the IDI engine, indirect injection diesel engine. And this is, it's got a lot of miles on it, 200 and, uh, 260,000, I believe is what it is. Two, 238,000, the, the other truck I have has 260. 238,000 miles. And this thing, once it's glow plugs, no matter what. Glow plugs in a diesel engine, uh, it has an element on the end of it. You turn the key on normally, it heats that element up red hot. You fire the truck up, it helps, it helps ignite the diesel when the diesel engine is cold. This engine wants those glow plugs, whether it's 10 degrees or 100 degrees. If the motor's fully warmed up, it doesn't matter. Uh, if it's shut off, it will not start without the glow plugs. The glow plug controller will not cycle when the engine is up to temperature. So to combat that, or to work around that, I guess, basically, I keep, keep this pair of pliers in the door, and when it's already warmed up, see those two big terminals right there? That's the glow plug controller, where all those plugs are at. Those two terminals, I put the pliers right across those two terminals and that heats up glow plugs. And I count to five so that they warm up and then the truck will start. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to pop the hood and get out and do all that because I'm, I'm too short to do it. I have to climb on the tire and as well as a pain in the butt. I'm going to install the starter relay. I'm gonna mount that on the firewall. That's just from Tractor Supply. It's a Ford starter solenoid. Um, I actually had ordered a heavy duty solenoid off of Amazon, but it has yet to show up. So I went to Tractor Supply and got that. We'll mount that on the dash. And I have a switch that I'm installing down here. That's got a fuse right, that's got a fuse in line with it. The switch was something I already had. It was already mounted up here. It was already mounted right there for some other use. And while I was messing around with it, the switch broke apart. I've had that switch. I've used it multiple times in different things, testing, testing and stuff. So I guess it was due. So we got a new switch. So I went with a momentary switch. What that means... It's not just a normal on off switch it doesn't stay in the on position you hold it up when you let off it goes back so if I had just a regular toggle switch that you flipped on and it stayed on I would forget about it and I would burn the glow plugs up because you can't leave them on very long because they will burn up they'll melt they'll end up falling melting off and falling on your piston and causing all kinds of trouble so momentary switch and then when I let off, the glow plugs will turn back off. So let's get all this stuff installed.
Okay, so on these GM trucks, there is a what they call a convenience center down here under the dash, and that orange wire right there uh, that's going into a terminal labeled ORN. I assume it's orange. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, powered only when the ignition is on. So you turn the key on, you get power to that 12 volts. Then I send it through a fuse holder, goes to my switch, and then I have a red wire back out of the switch through the firewall. Comes out there, goes across to my solenoid, and I mount it up here on the firewall and a couple of holes that are already existing with the same screws that are already there. Hold 12 volt constant power from this junction here, from that terminal strip. 12 volts goes to the new relay. And then off of the relay, it goes down to the existing glow plug controller relay. And so this side that's covered is the powered side. So it has 12 volts all the time, just the same as what this relay does. This is the powered side, it has 12 volts all the time. And then when the glow plugs cycle, it puts power on this side. So with my switch that I've added, with this wire here, I'll put 12 volts on this side, which the wires coming off of this side right here go to the glow plugs. So I'll be powering the glow plugs from this relay instead of the one down here. So after kind of looking at this uh, bypassing the, the controller, I uh, kind of decided that there was, there's really no point in keeping the factory control this is a 12 volt that fed, 12 volt constant that fed the relay for the glow plugs. And then this is the, the pigtail to control the relay from, from the truck. So, uh, this wire, you know, it's kind of chafed here. It was pinched back in behind here forever. And it's, it's showing some copper wire there. I probably, I'll tape that up. But since I'm putting 12 volts here through a switch, through this relay, I just decided that I wasn't even going to use this anymore. So this has constant 12 volts on it, whether the key's on or not. So I just come over here to this terminal strip and found the wire that, that feeds that, which was this one. It was on this strip. It was on this terminal here. I just took it off, taped it up, and I'll just tuck it away. That way, if, you know, the next owner wants to Put this system back the way it's supposed to work. Everything's still there. I don't like to tear stuff out if I don't have to, but I just don't want to mess with this glow plug deal anymore, and this gives me total control over it. So if we go over here, get in the truck. Got this momentary switch down here. Turn the ignition on. And if I just hold that switch over for... Yeah, say three, four, five, six seconds or so. And then if it needs a little more, you can kick it on again. Might have a warm up. Just like that. That's gonna be all right. Switches out of the way. That's how you bypass the control for the glow plugs and make it manual.